Let's continue with the examples from uh, the material in SIPSER 1.1. So let's look at the language L, um, which is the set of strings W, such that W contains exactly three A's. Okay, so we're looking at all strings um, that contain three A's. Not two A's, not four A's, three A's. Okay, so what we want to do is build a DFA for L. Again, where L is a set of strings that contain exactly three A's. Notice here that no restriction has been placed on B. Okay, so we're going to continue um, with sigma equal AB. All right, so these strings could contain any number of B's. All right, so when you read uh, W contains exactly three A's, make sure not to interpret that to mean that it contains no B's. Some people um, like to try to think that way, and that's, that's not how it works. The only restriction is being placed on the symbol A. Okay, so let's come up with some example strings um, in L. So strings that um, M should accept. Remember, M is our DFA. So M should accept uh, AAA, right? It has three A's should also accept AAAB. Um, it should also accept ABAA, as well as ABABA. And um, it would also accept BBA, BBA, BBA. Okay, so all of these have exactly three, ba exactly three A's and um, any number of B's and in any order or any arrangement. Okay, so let's also come up with some strings that M should, should reject. And remember, these are all of, um, or these are examples of strings that are not in L, okay? So it should reject uh, A, right? It should reject B. It should reject AAB. It should reject ABB. Um, let's make that one a little longer. ABB, ABB, right? And it should also reject uh, ABA. B, A, B, A. Okay, so here are some example strings that are not in the language that M should reject. Okay, so as we look at these example strings, we can think about how would we know that we should accept and how would we know that we should reject. Well, we want to just keep track of how many A's we've seen so far. We're noticing here that since there's no restriction on B, uh, I don't really care about seeing B's. That doesn't mean that I don't need to write transitions for B. It just means that what my memory needs to keep track of is how many A's I've seen. Okay, so that's what we're going to try to do. So, let me go to a new screen. And let's try to create this machine M. So we're going to start off in our start state. And we're going to call it Q0. Okay. Here's our start state, our initial state. Now what happens if I'm in Q0 and I see an A? Well, I want to keep track of the fact that I've seen one A. So let's make another state Q1, and let's interpret, interpret Q1 to mean I've seen one A. So let me make a transition here. Okay, so Q1 means I've seen one A. So if I'm in Q0 and I see a B, what do I want to do? Well, I can't go to Q1 because Q1 means I've seen an A. And if I see a B, that doesn't mean I've seen an A. It means I've seen a B. So let's just stay in Q0 on Bs. This means that as my machine gets started and I start reading a string, for any number of Bs I see at the beginning of the string, I'm just going to stay in Q0. And I'm only going to move out of Q0 once I see an A. Okay, And that's what we have here right now. So now let's think about if I'm in Q1. This means I've seen one A. If I see another A, 
I want to keep track of the fact that I've seen two A's. So let me make another state Q2. Let me draw a transition. And now Q2 is going to represent that I've seen two A's. Okay? Well, now if I'm in Q1 and I see some B's, what do I want to do? Well, I'm keeping track of how many A's I've seen. So if I'm in Q1, it means I've seen one A. So I can see as many B's as I want while in Q1, and I just don't want to move. I've only seen one A, and so that's where I want to stay. So I'm going to stay here. Okay, so now let's think about if I'm in Q2, if I see an A, I want to go to a new state, Q3, that means I've seen three A's. I'll leave myself a little bit of room here. And remember that our language is a set of strings that contain exactly three A's. So Q3, by the time I get to Q3, I've seen three A's. So I want this to be a final state. Okay? So let's think again, if I'm in Q2, if I see any B's, I'm just gonna stay put. Because it means I've seen two A's, and now I'm reading some B's. Okay, so so far, so good, right? Um, let's try one of our example strings. Let's do AAA. Or actually, let's do another one. Let's do this one. Let's do A, B, A, B, A. Okay, so I start up my machine. I read my first symbol, A. So let me keep track of what state I'm in. So let's say I, was, I started in Q0. I read my A, so I'm going to go to Q1. I read a B, I'm in Q1, so I stay in Q1. I read an A, I'm going to move to Q2. I read a B, I stay in Q2, and I read an A, I move to Q3. Okay, so that one works. Let's try, um, so now let me make sure, so I finished my string, I was in Q3 at the end of my string, and so I accept, right, so we accept the string. Um, let's try one of ours that should reject. Um, Let's do AAB. Okay, so I start reading in my machine. I'm in Q0. I read an A, I move to Q1. I read an A, I move to Q2. I read a B, I stay in Q2. Right? So now I've read all of my string, so I'm done reading symbols and I've ended up in a non-final state, or a non-accept state. So I'm going to reject that string. Okay, and that's what we wanted. All right, let's try um, one more. Let's do A, 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 B, A. So this has four A's, so it should reject. We're in Q0 to start up. I read an A, I move to Q1. I read an A, I move to Q2. I read an A, I move to Q3. I read a B. Can I read a B? Well, right now, no. I have no transitions that I can take on reading a B, okay? This is because our machine wasn't finished yet. We did not have uh, exactly one transition out of every state for every input symbol, right? Q3 has no transitions out of Q3 on either B or A. So I need to finish up my machine. So um, do I want to loop here? Is this what I want to do? Well. If I read a B here, and I stayed in Q3, that would be okay if that was all the string I had, if it was just this, right? So that's good for Bs. Let me finalize that guy. So that looks good for Bs, right? Um, but what if now I'm in Q3 and I read this A? Do I want to stay in Q3? No, because then I would accept this string, right? I would finish reading the string, I'd be in Q3, and the string would accept. And this string is supposed to reject. This string is a reject example, right, because it has four A's. So instead, if I'm in Q3 and I read an A, I need to get out of Q3, okay? I need to go somewhere else. So we're going to make a new state called Q4, okay? And in Q4, um, what do I want to do? Well, what does Q4 mean? It means I've seen four A's. 
Okay, so I never want to reject, or I never, I'm sorry, I never want to accept if I've reached Q4. Once I've seen four A's, I can never go back and see only three A's. It doesn't work that way. So if I'm ever in Q4, I don't want to leave again. I'm just going to go ahead and loop on any A's and B's I see after this, and I'm just going to stay put in Q4. So Q4 is a dead state or a trap state. I can't get out. Okay, so that'll let me handle this string. Let's try it one more time just to be sure. Okay, so I start off in Q0, I read my A, I go to Q1. I read my next A, I go to Q2. I read a third A, I go to Q3. I read a B. So B says stay in Q3. And then I read an A, this moves me to Q4. Okay, now I'm out of string to read and I'm in a non-final state. So I reject, and this is exactly what we wanted to see. Okay, so this is our machine, our state diagram for our machine M. So let's just make this more formal. So remember that M is a five tuple. Q, sigma, delta, Q zero, and F. Okay, so what was Q? Uh, Q was our set of states, and we had Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4 in this example. Okay, sigma was A and B, our input symbols. Uh, I'm going to skip delta for just a moment. Um, Q0 was our start state, which we have in our description. And F, our set of final states, um, in this case, Q3. Q3 was where we could accept. So that was our set of accept or final states. Okay, so now let's do delta, now that I have more room. So let's do it as a table. Okay, so here's my states. Okay. And let's remember if I was in Q0 and I read an A, I wanted to go to Q1, which meant I've seen one A. If I was in Q1 and I read an A, I wanted to go to Q2, meaning seen two A's. If I was in Q2, I wanted to go to Q3, meaning seen three A's. If I was in Q3 and I had seen an A, I wanted to go to Q4, meaning I've seen four A's. And if I was in Q4 and I saw an A, I wanted to stay in Q4, Remember, Q4 just means I've seen four or more A's, so we can just keep looping there forever. All right, if I started off in Q0 and I read a B, I stayed in Q0, because it just meant I haven't seen any A's yet. And it's going to be the same thing for the rest of these states. B is just a stay put um, transition. Okay, and let's confirm. A always moves us one to the right unless we get to Q4. Um, and B keeps us put. Let's see if that's what we did. Yep, that's what we did. Okay, so here's our formal description of M. Oops. Okay, um, let's try doing this in J flat. So we get a little more practice. So um, I'm in J flap. I'm going to click on finite automaton. And let me start plotting my states. OK. Now let me make this. Uh, Q0 was the initial state, and Q3 was my final state. And then let me add my transitions. Um, on A's. On A's, I move forward. On B's, I stay put. Unless I'm in Q4, in which case I always stay put. Okay, so that looks like what we designed. 
Um, now let's test some some uh, input strings. Let's go to multiple run, and I need to clear. This is because I didn't close out from the last example. That's why I have some left. Um, and let's put in our inputs. So I used I think AAA was one of them. Um, I also had AAAB. And A B A A, and let's do A B A B A, and B B A B B A B B A. Okay, so these are some of my strings I accept. I expect to accept. Um, so actually, let's just uh, let's just go ahead and run those now. Okay, and those all accept. So that's great. Let's um, try some reject strings, some strings we accept to re expect to reject. It's a tongue twister, right? All right, A, A, B, uh, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, and let's do A, 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 B, A. Okay, so these strings I expect to reject. Let's go ahead and run those and those all reject. Okay, so this is great. All right, so now let me close this. I'm gonna to go to dismiss tab and I'm back to my editor.